What's up, Sharks? This is Mr. O. Um, we're moving on to our new unit, but it shouldn't seem too new to you because you did a lot of this stuff last year with ecosystems. Um, the, the notes are pretty straightforward. Um, we're just going to go through each slide. You're going to fill the boxes in with the uh, information provided. So let's get started. First thing is matter. Uh, if you don't know anything, matter is something that takes up space. Um, it's what makes everything in the world. But the two things you need to know with the food chain and matter is that one, matter is transferred from one organism to another. And the second thing is it's transferred between organisms in their environment. So there's two different relationships, both you saw in your ecosystem unit last year with uh, different things living off each other, being interdependent. Um, the environment either helps and hurts, but the matter is transferred in one way or another between different things and where they live. Next thing is you have water, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. You need to know these are all cycled between living and non-living things. Uh, you're very familiar with the water cycle. There's also something known as the carbon cycle. Uh, carbon dioxide, as you know, and oxygen, as you know, from photosynthesis and cellular respiration are also cycled between living and non-living things. So you just need to know the emphasis that it is cycled between these things, meaning it occurs in a predictable pattern over and over and over again. Food, also known as glucose. For all living things, it provides two things. One, it provides building materials, meaning the way things grow, the way things live. And the second thing is it provides fuel, which in cellular respiration, it breaks it down to make energy. So it allows things to grow and it gives things energy to move and do things. It could be plants, animals, anything living. Energy, it flows through an ecosystem in one direction. Starting from the sun, it goes from the sun to producers, to consumers, to decomposers. Now in that consumers group, you also have scavengers. There's multiple levels of consumers, which you learned about last year. There's like primary, secondary, tertiary. And uh, after decomposers, it goes back into the ground to be used by the producers that start the cycle all over again. So the energy is also a cycle. Sun, or also known as sunlight. You might want to put light in that box with it. It provides energy for plants to make glucose. You know this from photosynthesis. The sun is the emphasis and the start of all things in an ecosystem. We would not be around without the sun. So even the plants, the only thing they are dependent on is sunlight. Food chain and food webs. These are very simplistic definitions of these. These are not by any means authentic by textbook definitions, but a food chain is one complete cycle from producer to decomposer, meaning just one particular case like grass is eaten by a cow that's the cow is eaten by the wolves and the wolves decomposed by maggots these are things that is just one cycle a food web differs because it's all the food chains within an area or an ecosystem meaning within a farm there's several different food chains that can happen there are several different consumers of different producers meaning the cows aren't the only thing eating the grass and the wolves aren't the only thing eating the cows so uh, just to keep in mind, we, we refrain from putting humans in these equations just because humans play a little bit unfair, meaning we don't consume like other things consume. Moving on to green plants. They are producers of food that are used directly or indirectly by all consumers. Not everything eats plants for a diet. However, everything that doesn't eat plants for a diet will eat something that does eat plants for a diet. So directly or indirectly, indirectly, meaning... It doesn't have to be the first thing that eats the plants, but it does get the energy from the thing that did eat plants in the first place. Now we're gonna go with the last three things. Producers are the first level of the food chain after the sun. They obtain their energy directly from the sun via photosynthesis, which means they can produce their own food, hence producer. Consumers are living things that need to consume glucose from other sources to survive, hence consume, they have to consume it to get energy from other sources. They can't make their own food, meaning humans, uh, wolves, bears, fish, so consumers. The last thing is decomposers. Super important, they can decompose dead organisms and plants and return nutrients to their environment. You know this from the soil unit. Decomposers and producers are super important parts of the food chain. Uh, consumers, eh, not so much, but in the instance of what's important and what's not, uh, producers and decomposers are way up there. Uh, they are gross, but they are very useful. 
at the end of your notes, write down at the end that you listen to the end, right? You listen to the end. All right, see ya.